Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. In this video, we're going to go over some more camera tools, namely the track tool. If we look under View Camera Tools, we have Track Tool here. I'm going to open the options, double click on it to kind of set it into my UI here. So I'm going to reset my settings, left click and drag, and my camera kind of just tracks around. It's very similar to Alt, middle click to pan. Uh, with your typical camera controls, but there is a couple options here that make it a little bit different than your average pan camera control. We have track geometry, which we'll go over in just a second, but we have track scale. And similar to the uh, tumble tool that we went over in a previous video, and you feel free to check that out here, just click right here to look at the tumble tool video. Track scale increases the speed of my track uh, here as I increase the slider up from one. If I increase this up to something crazy like 25 and left click and drag, my tracking goes crazy and way overboard. So it just really increases the speed that my camera tracks with the track scale increased. You can also go below the, av the default value of 1 to really slow the track down. But the default value when I reset is 1 and it tracks like this. And the only other op option in here is track geometry. So let's create a polygon cube. Like so. And I'm going to duplicate it and kind of duplicate several cubes kind of going off into the distance to kind of better show the track tool in action. So go back to my camera tools, track tool options and turn on our track geometry setting. Left click over here in space and track. You can see my cubes as they move left and right as I pan or track my camera. If I put my cursor on a cube, let's put it on this one, hold, hold down the left button and track, you'll see that my cursor stays on that cube. So I'm tracking that piece of geometry with my track tool. If I put my cursor over here next to that cube and track, you'll see that my cursor does not stick to the cube put it on the cube and track and you see my cursor does stick to the cube. So that's what track geometry does. And you click down here with this one as close by. You see it tracks with the cube as I track back and forth. Again if I put my cursor next to the cube so it's not on it when I click, my cursor does not stick to the cube. And you see that it moves at like a different rate. This cube up here you can put your cursor on the cube, turn on track geometry and click and drag and my cursor kind of sticks with it. That's essentially the only uh, two options in the track tool. Uh, hopefully you learned a little bit about how track tool works. I really apologize for my kids. Uh, they're usually not this loud when I'm working. I tell them to be quiet. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later.